All right, it's uh, December 1st, 2024. We're in 1 Samuel chapter 2 this morning, verses 32 and 33. While you're turning there, let me just say happy December. We've come into this month, and I can't believe that Christmas is just a few weeks away, and I have no doubt it's going to be an exciting month. So let's look here in 1 Samuel chapter 2, verses 32 and 33. It says, The offspring of your house shall be cut off, and I will not be honored in your house. And the only one of you whom I shall not cut off from my altar shall be spared to weep his eyes out and grieve his heart. And all the descendants of your house shall die by the sword of men. I mean, aren't you glad this you're starting off uh, December with this text? Well, let's look into it if we can, all right? These verses reveal the weighty consequences of Eli's and his son's actions. I mean, God's pronouncement is both sobering and it's serious. You see, the fate of Eli's lineage is sealed due to their unfaithfulness and disregard for his holiness. The language used here emphasizes a complete severing from God's covenant blessings, demonstrating that continued rebellion against him leads to dire consequences. And Eli's family, which once held a position of honor among God's people, now faces the judgment of being cut off from his altar. Now, the mention of the one who will be spared to weep his eyes out and grieve his heart introduces a a deeply emotional element to the prophecy. I mean, while there will be a remnant, the experience of loss and grief serves as a reminder that even in judgment, God's mercy allows for some form of continuation. However, this continuation is fraught with pain and mourning and emphasizing that the consequences of sin are not limited to the sinner alone, but ripple out to affect others. And it highlights the gravity of leadership and the far-reaching impacts of our choices, particularly when we lead others astray. So this passage really challenges us to consider the importance of faithfulness and integrity in our own spiritual lives. And while God's grace is abundant, it does not absolve us from consequences of our actions. So each decision we make has implications, not only for our relationship with God, but also for those around us. And as leaders and, you know, in our families and in our churches and in our communities, I mean, we're called to uphold God's standards, recognizing that our example can either lead others to him or away from him. So today, reflect on the significance of your decisions and their potential impact on those around you. Are there areas in your life where you need to recommit to honoring God's standards? Pray for clarity. Pray for courage. To make choices that reflect your commitment to Him. And consider how you can be a positive influence within your community, fostering an environment where faithfulness to God is celebrated and it's upheld. So let this be a moment of introspection, asking God to reveal any areas of compromise and giving you strength to walk with him in integrity. God bless you. Have a great, great day.